what are you arguing in Living by Inches? What's in part? How does this title come about, yeah. and what are you showcasing in the book? Well, you know, at the, the basic level, uh, Living by Inches is about uh, the dehumanizing, decivilizing, uh, uh, disabling experiences of captivity in civil war prisons. That itself is not a particularly new angle on how we imagine, how we remember the experiences of, of captivity. Um, what is new is how we get there, right? Prisoners after the Civil War and in a lot of the interpretation today, it still rests on, it's about punishment. Mm -hmm. right? It's about punishment, it's about uh, uh, leading up to torture, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, in and, and, and there's heroic resistance to this. Uh, this, is how the, this is how prisoners tell, tell the story after the Civil War. It's kind of made its way into uh, the history books. That's all true. Right? That's all there. You can find that in the Civil War era. You also find something much more pervasive, yet also mundane. Right? It's the it's the day to day, minute to minute experiences. It's the uh, it's the smells, it's the sounds, it's the tastes that really. Um, encapsulate the experience of the captivity. So living by inches is a turn from a some, some prison jargon, which was dying by inches, being killed by inches. Um, and it occurred to me in thinking about this that, um, that the experience of dying by inches is just more about, the, about living than it does about dying, right? Because the vast majority of prisoners survive, but that doesn't mean that they're not living, dying by inches, right? They're, or, or, more, or more appropriately, they're living by inches. Um, so it's, it works as a metaphor in the, in the Civil War era, I think it also works as a metaphor for kind of thinking about what a sensory approach um, shows us.